Great matters are at issue in this general election. The nation cannot tolerate the continuance of unemployment on the immense scale which has prevailed year after year without respite. Vast numbers of self-respecting homes are sunk in distress. There is a heavy drain on the national resources. The Liberal Party is convinced that with energy and resource, the problem can be solved. There is need for the wise investment of capital by the government in works of many kinds, works which are useful in themselves and which will be remunerative. There will be found the means of providing employment for the workers until a general improvement of trade to which these enterprises will contribute allows them to be reabsorbed into ordinary industry. The plight of the coal mines demands the special attention of statesmanship, not in one direction alone, but in many. Better organization in the mining industry and more modern methods are urgently needed. The path that should be trod has been clearly made out. A liberal government would pursue it. Free trade is in the balance of this election. The policy called safeguarding will inevitably raise prices. It will increase the cost of living for the whole population. It will injure the export and shipping trades, which are essential to the prosperity, to the very life of our people. In the long run, safeguarding must lessen employment. It will tend to reduce the standard of comfort of our people to that which prevails in the protectionist countries of Europe. The nation earnestly desires the promotion of peace throughout the world. War is not of the essence of things any more than any other human institution. It is the great task of our age to get rid of it to provide sure means for the peaceful settlement of all future disputes, to establish cordial relations with every foreign country and especially with the United States, to secure a general measure of disarmament and so lighten the burden of taxation which presses heavily upon the peoples. These are great purposes. They must be pursued with a stronger will and with greater skill than a marked the government which is now approaching the end of its tenure of power. Other questions there are, many others, which demand attention. But these four stand supreme. Unemployment, the mines, free trade, peace, and these are the main issues of this election. Conservatism is useless. Socialism is dangerous. The nation needs neither King Log nor King Stork. No one can foresee the decision of our vast electorate, new and untested as a great part of it is. The election is an open one. Any result is possible. Those who approve the general tendency of liberal policy and who disapprove both Toryism and Socialism will unhesitatingly support the liberal candidates, a striking liberal victory and the establishment in power of a liberal government will not merely be possible, it will be certain.